hi everyone and uh, welcome back so here in this video we are going to talk about uh, restaurant api we have already done a little bit work on the ui for the restaurant landing page now we are going to hit the restaurant list api from the front end through the exios to the apis so let's see how it is working so here it is our front end this is our swiggy app and this is our the restaurant landing page and here we need the data to appear right and we already can see that this is the nginx right so if you see our nginx uh, configuration then we can just go and we can see the default.conf so whatever the request is coming for the forward slash api view and restaurant it is redirecting it to the swiggy microservice api v1 restaurant so similarly you can actually keep adding the routes api v1 uh, promotionals will go to the swiggy microservice api v1 promotions okay you can keep adding all the locations whatever you want so if we see from the nginx i am hitting this api v1 restaurant so it is going to give me this particular error and this particular error is valid token not provided token authorization fail because uh, this is nginx api v1 micro restaurant will hit the restaurant microservice api v1 restaurant and that is protected because you need to provide the authorization token the token we can copy here so now we need to actually add this authorization header in the token uh, this access token in the authorization header so what we can do is this is already exposed on the swagger definition okay so what we will do is let's go here authorize and you can actually add your token so just copy and paste that token here so i think we need to copy the whole and just paste this in our swagger authorize now i should be able to authorize to create restaurant update restaurant delete restaurant get a restaurant right and uh, front end is going to hit this particular request 88 is a port nginx port exposed on the host and the 80 is the internal port so don't worry about what is this 88 here okay there is nothing but nginx of the host port and we are able to do the routing i mean we are able to do the proxy with the nginx api when the restaurant is talking to the swiggy microservice and we can see that is happening here also uh, here if I just do the execute we I'm able to get the, the restaurants which I have created recently and how that is happening if you just check the logs what is happening I'm sending a request to the nginx right and now nginx will talk to the restaurant microservice that is going to talk to the gatekeeper for the authorization authentication and authorization currently we are doing authentication only the validating the the token validating the, the token which we are receiving from the client end side if everything is fine we are decoding it and we are sending this payload back which is user id and uh, you can call it as expiry email user id audience all these informations we are able to receive from the token and it is this gatekeeper service is returning 200 means the token is valid and you can go ahead and access the apis that's why we are able to receive this data but like uh, if we just uh, put something garbage in the token and try to hit this then the picture will be different token authorization failed here if you just see this particular log from the gatekeeper service because gatekeeper service is telling us that your token is not valid you have to provide a valid token so our communication channel from front end to nginx nginx to our uh, swiggy microservice to the gatekeeper service is now channelized i mean it is working perfectly the way we want now what we do need to do is let's populate some data so we can use some seeders migration seeders or we can actually populate some data here only here i, I was creating some data like uh, i can just say testing one one this is the address and token authorization failed because I have added the invalid token. So I need to add the the X correct value for the token. Log out, authorize, and now post. So Next.js gives us a way to expose the APIs through the Swagger uh, portal, 
right and we can actually play around, around with these here only instead of going through the postman so this uh, restaurant is created now if I go and do the list then I can see the the new restaurant created now I have the three counts three uh, the total number of restaurants are now three instead of two because the one I recently created now we can actually populate some the cool information the exact information about the ratings websites then name of the restaurant average time uh, of the delivery average cost the logo URL which we can put on the thumbnail and the address information which is an array because there can be multiple address for a particular restaurant chain okay and the restaurant menu if we are going to create a menu so here we got the restaurant ID we'll copy this and what we can do is you can create a menu for a particular restaurant so here you need to provide a restaurant ID and okay this is a get let's do the post where we will create a menu yes so this menu is created now if I do restaurant get by ID get restaurant by ID this is the API and I'm I think I'm not loading the the relations like restaurant has a relations with the address relations with the the menus so that information about the address of the restaurant and the menu information is not coming here let's check in the list apis are we populating that information then we should see that information here and yes we got it you see the last restaurant object let me just copy this so let me just zoom this in so what do we have here we have the restaurant object right then the restaurant address then we have a restaurant menu restaurant menu okay, you can independently create okay uh, this restaurant has all these different cuisines Italian Indian North Indian South Indian and all these different menu items you create for that uh, restaurant you can keep adding so this will keep coming okay this is the for breakfast name is string one type is something like that and I will add few more this is also created now if I do the get call again get all then now I should this uh, the new menu item should also be added in the the new menu array and that is what happened in the restaurant menu now we can see the two items for this particular restaurant right so this is how we can actually populate the data we, can, we will write some cool seeders which will do these things but if you want to play around with the swagger this is how you can do it okay we have the address object that uh, the restaurant object and everything is fine right now this information we need on the front end side which can show all the information right okay uh, the cuisine type is Indian vegetarian non vegetarian based on the text we need to do the filtering on the UI all these things here we have a lot of information like ratings we can do the filtering based on the average cost average time uh, the name based on these things we can do the, the filtering of the data on the UI now our APIs are perfectly fine from the front end what you are going to do is you are going to hit this API the the URL will be different because it will be nginx so you will be hitting 88 currently you will get uh, token invalid because you need to hit this API with the authorization header then you will start getting the, the correct data we, we can hit this I mean through the postman you can try so that we will do before writing the the API interceptor for this we already have the API framework from the client side is ready what we need to do is we need to write the actions and the reducers for it so let's get ready for that uh, in the next video thanks everyone